Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're back in the workshop uh, after a pretty bad crash that um, cracked the front, front bulkhead of our slash two-wheel drive slash peed. So we're going to go ahead and slash peed is just the term given to a slash when you run these larger 2.8 uh, tires, 2.8 inch tires uh, that are usually found on a, a stampede monster truck. So we're going to go ahead and replace it. And what we've chosen to do that with is we've actually got a complete front suspension off of um, a stampede here and they're a stampede that cracked in half and uh, they're interchangeable so we're gonna go ahead and get that done right now and um, show you guys how we do it so uh, most of these parts are interchangeable obviously these uh, the, the body mounts are not we're running the the pro line extended body kit anyways and uh, it'll be a good chance to just uh, swap in some fresher hardware as well so I'm gonna try to do this by removing the least amount of hardware possible obviously so a lot of things that I don't have to remove or that I can keep intact as many of that as I can do I will When disassembling here, I just try to keep the the parts um, that I take off in a similar area here to how I took them off, just so that I'll know how to put them back in. Save myself some time. So I'm just taking off these screws that go into the uh, bulkhead. that mount the front bumper assembly. It was a pretty big hit that we did here. I've actually never had one of these bulkheads break on me yet. So it was a pretty bad crash. Um, that you guys can see from our running video there. The screwdriver has an adjustable torque setting here and usually I have it set to a certain amount but perhaps some of these screws got tweaked here as the truck hit. All right, so I'm just gonna put that to the side. Um, you can see the extent of the damage here. Uh, it was it was bad enough to break this piece of uh, plastic on the bulkhead, so this arm was flailing around. Um, it actually popped off an E-clip, a retaining clip here on the arm as well, so we're definitely gonna have to pop off this other E-clip. Um, the arms are still intact, so maybe we can just, huh. I'm just debating on what to do here. Mm, because this assembly is pretty much complete, so maybe, uh, maybe I can get away with removing even less here um, and I might even go with these newer shocks so I'm just gonna look at the condition of of this because this was from a used truck that we bought here and I had stripped uh, the bearing carriers you saw from one of our previous episodes that was um, 
We had a couple of those break. Oh, this is actually cracked here. The shock tower is cracked, so we can't reuse the shock tower. Hmm. It's like a puzzle. So I'm gonna take out one of these C clips here. I did. Mm. Don't want to bend these little C clips like I just did there when you pop them off. Um, we can always go with a, a screw in setup, but these are kind of nice because uh, they they won't come loose on you. The the hinge pins that screw in have a tendency to back out on you. Um, so. Looks like this brace is still good. Just um, primarily doing a damage assessment here on all the parts. This this is a fiberglass brace here, and this looks like it's still good. Yeah, we might just replace the entire bulkhead. Uh, assembly here with the replacement. Let me see these shocks. These shocks seem pretty decent. We might just have to top them off with some fluid here. Oh, they're in clean shape. Let's see here. Yeah, the fluid's a little bit dirty. We probably want to at least top it off, if not replace all the fluid in there with clean fluid. Um, I'm just gonna leave this off for now. So I think I need to do some do some more thinking about what, what we're gonna do here. I won't bother wasting your guys' time while uh, I'm thinking about that, but uh, please stay tuned and uh, like, comment, subscribe, let us know if you guys like videos like this, and we'll see you next time.